All right, Michiganders, listen up. This year's election isn't just about who gets the keys to the White House. It's about you, your paycheck, and the future of Michigan manufacturing, because there's a lot on the line this year for Michigan's middle class. And when it comes to the presidential race, there's only one candidate who's getting some serious backing from nearly all of Michigan's labor unions. That's Kamala Harris. When unions are strong, America is strong. Harris has been pushing for clean energy jobs, manufacturing growth, and fair wages. And that's why some of the largest labor unions in the state are lining up to support her. Kamala Harris is about the people, and that's what this election's about. And that's why I believe the people will vote for Kamala Harris. And it's not just Michigan's auto workers. There are a lot of unions supporting Harris, like a lot, a lot. We have uh, Michigan Teamsters, the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers, and the AFL-CIO, Amalgated Transit Union, American Federation of State, County, and Municipal Employees, the American Federation of Teachers, American Postal Workers Union, the International Brotherhood of Bricklayers and Allied Craft Workers, as well as elevator constructors, operating engineers, painters and allied trades, the National Education Association, National Nurses United, and the National Union of Healthcare Workers, North American Building Trades Union, Retail, Wholesale, and Department Store Union, Service Employees International Union, Service Employees United, Farmers Union, 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 Farmers and understand the truth, Donald Trump was one of the most anti-worker, anti-union presidents we've ever had. Their agenda is wrong for workers, and is wrong for our economy, and is wrong for Michigan.